So you might be trying to figure out how you can Photoshop on your Android device. Now doing this is actually fairly basic, and luckily for you, there is a Photoshop application available on your Android phone. So what you can do is you can literally just search up Photoshop just like this on your Android device. And what's going to happen is you're going to see the Photoshop Express Photo Editor, whatever this one's called. Now there are lots and lots of photo editing applications out there. So you can honestly search up whichever photo editing application you want to check out. And that's pretty much all you're going to have to do. Now I don't know why this one's not downloading. So that's going to be very, very annoying. So in this case, it is installing. It's a pretty quick install, so it's not anything super crazy. And once it installs, you can go ahead and open it up. Now, when you want to go ahead and open it up, it's going to take you through basically an initial process. You want to give it access to all your photos, all your videos, or whichever ones you want to go ahead and basically you know, allow access to. And it tells you to go ahead and log in. So you can just log in with your Google account. That's basically what I typically use. And once you log in, you should be able to see this panel. You don't have to sign up for anything. And then you want to give access to your specific photos. So you can just go ahead and give access to your photos by clicking allow. And then you can start bringing your photos in. Now, you can bring in whichever photos you want to, and there are unlimited ways of editing your videos or photos here. So I would recommend just going through understanding all the specific little settings and everything. If you want to, there's a lot of free options already available, so I'd recommend just clicking on free and then just seeing all the ones that are available for free and kind of going from there because you probably don't want to pay for you know random things within this application. But there is lots of things. You can do lenses or looks. You can do adjustments, healing. You can do cropping, you can do overlays, you can add text, stickers, you know, so many things within here. So again, what I'd recommend doing is just going through and really just seeing whichever specific applications, whichever specific toggles you have down here that you want to edit up. And you should be able to go through, edit them, and that's pretty much all you're going to have to do. And from here, if you want to, ex if you want to actually share this photo out, you can save to gallery, or you can even post it on your feed on Instagram just straight from here. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.